Hello there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome back to Stellaris. The Barrington Empire has been attacked by the Ativarian Kingdoms. That's right. We know we are planning to do that ourselves, but they got ahead of us. And they did it. They attacked first. These pacifist, fanatic collectivists have attacked us. Right? It sucks. But it's alright. I think we're going to be fine. We've already marshaled our forces. We have... <clears throat> so what we have now is we have... Uh, about 600 forces... Combining. So these forces are going to combine, and they're going to join the fleets at Japris. The fleets that are in... that's in Gaul... Oh god, they're still upgrading. These fleets are going to join the Gons in Gaul, and they're going to make an incursion directly into there to try and kill as many of them as possible. <coughs> Pardon me. I am a little bit concerned about our power, though. We make 15 there, 9, 9, 4, nothing. Right, we need to get some kind of power. I might make an edict uh, to get capacity overload. Gives us an extra 4 power. That could be very valuable. Is it just going through? Are there any here that are useful? For some reason, these pops are angry. I don't really know why. For some reason, he is con he has become an individualist. Why on earth is he an individualist? That is ludicrous. Why has he become an individualist? That is so far removed from our thing. That is insane. <clears throat> I'm just annoyed now. Alright, we got some things that are upgrading, some things that are making more power. Got some tech constructions over there. Got these guys are enslaved. And some enslavery here and there. Oh, look at that. These guys are all growing here. Monument to purify happiness. Excellent, excellent. So, our armies are also ready. In the pro class system, they're going to embark all. Excellent. <coughs> wow, I keep clearing my throat. What a jackass. So we're going to have to try and move the goal. I think we're going to have to try and move the goal fleet, honestly. Yeah, we're just going to have to move them. It's a shame. It has to just cancel the upgrade, but they need to be going now, honestly. The the Nikor fleet are going to move to the Japri system. Whoops. And hopefully we can drag them out this way. And so they, this 3k fleet of 9k, 9 destroyers and 36 corvettes are currently entering the hyperlanes. Fantastic. No, we don't have we don't have assist research. I just forgot. I couldn't remember if we had assist research. <clears throat> so there is an assault fleet currently moving. Whoa! Right, that's a 5k fleet. So, we know that they are here. They are already in the Korash system. So we're going to need to make some plays right now. So the Japri system are going to need to move to Chaos. Alright, and the, this, the, this system guys are going to need to embark. Okay, alright, here we go, here we go. Uh, is there anyone who wants to trade me some credits? Could you give me some energy credits, please? I'll give you all my minerals. Uh, I will give you lots and lots of tasty minerals. Excellent. That's going to really help us out. Going to keep us in military credits. So, this is an issue. Ooh, here we go. So, now we can make some interesting plays. As we did earlier, and I made a video about uh, Stellaris cheese that you guys should have seen probably. There is... We're going to try and keep this fleet here for as long as possible. Because I do believe this is their entire might. This is their entire fleet. Which is 4 cruisers, 11 destroyers, and 21 corvettes. Their cruisers appear to be pretty expensive. They're pretty good actually. We should be fine though. Because we're going to be able now to... Attack the chaos system, the quaff system, and although this fleet isn't very large, we're going to be able to do some interesting things. So the Korash system, 
Now we're just going to make some dances. Construction complete. Why aren't they following us? I really want them to follow us. Okay. Hostile fleet detected. Where? Oh my god. How do they have 10k fleet strength? We've only got four and a half. Okay, yeah, this is definitely their whole fleet. Shit. Hostile fleet engaged. That's gonna suck. Hostile fleet engaged. It's fine, it's fine. Construction. Hostile is this a defense station? It's a defense station. Doesn't even do anything though. Right, are we gonna be willing to give up this fleet? Bollocks, they're actually entering the hyperlane. Uh, let's start moving our armies away. Oh god, are they gonna try and- are they actually gonna- Wow, we need to build some defensive armies. Wait, what happened to our trade deal? Oh, we need war demands, we need war demands. Right, we're gonna set demands. So I'm gonna take all the planets in the chaos system. I also want to take the Sheliac system. Nice. <clears throat> so that's going to leave them with only five systems. Or rather five planets, but they only have one planet system. So this is going to add, make us very, very powerful. I think this is going to work really nicely in our favor. So do we also want to maybe try and... We could also try and vassalize them, but that would just go poorly. We'll vassalize them in the next war. What we need to do... Maybe we could liberate... We could try and liberate the the Romseer system. Nice, that's a pretty good war goal. Awesome. So seeding these planets. Yep, seeding all these planets, <clears throat> and then Roms and then liberating the Romseer system. I think they can go really well. I mean, it's going to be difficult to achieve our war goals. It's fine, it's fine. Alright. Hey, what, they're going to Polaris? Oh god. What are they doing? They're attacking me really deeply. So they are... Let's just keep trying to get them to chase us a bit here. Come on, hurry up. Oh my god, there's so many spaceports. There's so many spaceports. We need the one that's in the hump. Okay, there we are. So we have this guy. He has uh, lots of attack, so he's gonna go to this system. Wait, no, he can't do that yet because he needs to wait until. Ah, damn. He needs to wait until we can. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Alright, can we try and get them to chase us? Yes! Right, we can keep this 5k fleet here by doing ridiculous Gs. Oh, and destroy it. There we go, there we go. Okay, we're just going to keep trying to get them to chase us a little bit. There we go. Wow, they have really good warp drives. What? Where's my station under attack? What? Ahem. <coughs> Oh god. We need to really keep an eye on these because for some reason these guys have insane jump speed. There we go. So we can just 
keep these guys trapped in this kind of endless cycle of movement. It's not going to be easy to do. But I think we can do it if we try. We shouldn't let it get more than about 75% though. Nice, 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 nice. So it's going to take so long. We're going to be doing loads of clicks. Right, now enter the high plane. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh man, this is going to be so tricky. Oh god, escape. Good stuff. So this is going to be tricky. We have to kind of balance this really carefully. Good stuff. Let's move our shine ship over here as well. See if we can get some tech while we can. Good stuff. I don't know where the other fleet's gone. I don't know where it's gone. Ah, they've completely disappeared. This is tricky. This is really tricky. So these guys will... Yeah, they'll, they'll start bombarding. No, I kind of want you to bombard this one though, don't I? Okay. And these guys will enter the orbit. And these guys... will keep these little bastards occupied. There we go. Excellent. Great, great, great. So these guys are going to be bombarding this force entirely, just constantly and endlessly. Great. Okay. So they do have a few armies. That's not really a big deal, but I think this should be fine. My thing is I just need to basically make sure this doesn't ever get a chance to jump. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're just going to keep cha letting them chase us a bit. No, no, no. There we go. So it does, they do need to move towards them. That's what it seems. I figured out that they need to move towards them. Yeah, they have to be moving towards them. Otherwise, they'll start jumping again. Because they're basically like, oh, we'll never catch him. And they need, there does need to be a couple seconds as well. So the problem is they do naturally drift towards one another as well. So that's an issue. These guys are in the, that system, so they should probably be moving over here. And while we're here, we should probably be building more and more ships as well. In the Koshab system. Yes. I believe torpedoes cannot be shot down by point defense, which is a bit crap. Yeah, let's do that. So this this whole war is going to be about this. If these guys manage to to catch our fleet, we lose. That's kind of how it is. Basically. All right, we just have to keep catching them. That's all we have to do. I don't know where that other 5k fleet is. It would be quite nice to know. Uh, and we have a science ship, so we should probably be... Wait, why, don't, why haven't I given them a leader yet? He needs to be... Yes, yeah, so we're going to give him this leader, and he'll command this. I've already done that. And we'll get these research projects, because there could be some interesting and valuable things there. Maybe. We'll see. There we go. Okay, we just have to keep cancelling it. I know it's cheesy. I know it takes a long time. But this is the way we have to cheese. We're on insane difficulty. We don't really have a choice. There we go. So we can just kind of maybe chase them around the solar system a little bit here. 
This is good, this is good. This is kind of stopping them from going towards us. Hostile fleet detected. What? Ooh, here comes the other fleet. Shit, they jumped, they jumped. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Nicked good, nicked good. Okay, um... So they did manage to jump. This is a problem for us. Ah! No. This is not good. Okay, okay. They were able to jump. They are now in our goal system. They are now moving. Entering the orbit of Vulcanod to the Lich system. What? The hell is the Lich system? They're going all the way over there? Why? Okay, so they did actually manage to get away, which is very unfortunate for us. The only thing I can think of possibly doing is trying to maybe catch them in a pincer movement in the chaos system. Yeah, that's literally the only thing I can think of doing. So we're going to create a new fleet, and it's going to be a single cavalier. And this single cavalier is going to head on over there, and we're going to see what we can catch. Oh my god, what are you doing over here? So they are, they are very much jumping at a very good speed right now. So the only hope is that we can take this planet... What? That's fine. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, my heart could not handle that pressure. Okay, so that might, maybe we could do is we could just maybe move the fleet this way. Right. For the love of God. Is that space? No, it's just a mining port. It doesn't matter. Hey! They're chasing the transport fleet. Yes. That's what I want. I want them to chase the transport fleet. Yes, 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 yes. This is good. This is really good for us. If they chase the transport fleet, we're going to... We can keep them occupied. Situation log updated. Hey, calm down. Just... Just, that's it, that's it. They're, oh, they don't seem to be able to make up their mind. This is very good. <laughs> Please don't make up your mind. I want to kill you. God, their fleets are huge. <sighs> so they don't seem to be able to make up their minds. I don't really know what the AI is doing. It appears to be kind of freaking out. I am very much fine with the AI freaking out. I think we may have bugged them a little bit. I'm fine with this. It's because they're trying to decide between moving to the Escalia system to destroy that fleet, or move to the Common Ephesus system and try and destroy this fleet. This is great for us. Holy shit. This is really good for us. Wow, I didn't think this would happen. I don't think we'd be so lucky. Can we just can we just keep them like this forever? We could. We might be able to. That'd be amazing. I don't really want to change the situation at all, but it might be worth it because they they might try and attack me elsewhere. Uh, I really wish I hadn't moved the transport fleet to Oxaman. I guess this is fine. Research complete. Look, oh, the governor's leveled up. Complete. And we've made noxious swamp removal. Uh, leader pool size and empire leader capacity. Meh. Social welfare is not bad, but meh. Extra biolab. Meh. More food. Meh. We'll do the living state. I would like some more leaders. We are going to need more fleets eventually. So it is entirely possible that their fleet is actually moving down here. Yeah. To try and take the, kef, the guys in the kef. 
And if they do that, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, it'll be a problem. But not a big problem. Yeah, not a, not a big problem. Look at that. We're doing tons of damage. We can take we can definitely take this planet now. It's just a question of can we keep them? Can we keep them away from us? I can't it's it's very possible their fleets could be actually coming down. We don't really know where they are. We could actually move our fleets over here so that we get some kind of analysis. Just so that it doesn't change the bug hitting here. I am a bit of a I'm kind of exploiting a bug right now. But I'm kind of okay with it. I'm I just I'm really okay with this exploiting. I don't mind at all. I really don't. Oh boy. Okay. This is probably going to mean we can take a planet from them. The issue, of course, is that we don't really have the ability. Okay, yeah, they're just, they're bugged. I just have to keep an eye on that bug. Come on, destroy it. Nice. And now attack the other system. Does that change it? It doesn't. It's still bugged. Excellent. No, 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 no. Ah, damn it. Nah, they get pissed off. Wait, they're moving to the Eskela system. What? Why? The hell they think it's gonna happen over here? Moving to the lift system. Okay, I really don't know what's going on. This is this is really odd. Their their decision making is pretty poor right now. Construction ship under attack. Wait, what? Oh yeah. Whoops. Obviously they've got an FTL jumper. Shit. Whoopsie Daisy. That's fine. Doesn't matter to me. Are we taking the planet okay? It looks like we are. Probably shouldn't have the f probably shouldn't have enslaved armies, should you? They have a slave processing facility, but they don't have any slaves. It's very strange. Oh, look at all that devastator torpedoes, plasma accelerators. Say what? Oh, yes. That's what I want. Devastator torpedoes. Ooh. We'll stick with the kinetic batteries for now, though. Okay, so I think we've done pretty well here, guys. I think we can... Uh, we'll take a little break right now. This is really interesting. We are... We just secured a planet. That's amazing. We just secured the planet and we gain a crap ton of war score. I think what we're going to be able to do is just take one planet in the chaos system. And if we can just take one planet, we can make some significant plays. Or rather, I mean, if we can take the system because we're already bombarding the crap out of this one. And what we can do then is just move the army as soon as it's healed. Yes, we can move the army as soon as it's healed to the other planet system and just take it. This is a good idea. This is a really good idea. Okay, so we'll continue this in the next episode. I was Aldrich Hill and I'll continue to be. And this has been Stellaris. This is going fantastically. Uh, I'm also going to be streaming. Well, I will have already streamed today at twitch.tv slash Aldrich Hill. But I also stream a variety of times. So do check that out if you're interested. So see you next time. Bye-bye.